I'll phone and see if um, the girls are at the house, Jane. Mm. Girls with? Um, with the dog. Oh, beautiful. How's the dog? Oh, he's yeah, gorgeous. Guess what's happening to him on Friday? Is he going? They're going. <laughs> yeah, they're going. <laughs> I'm putting him in a jar. He'll never be the same. <laughs> You're going to kill his personality, you know, no. like that. <laughs> no, I they did have fine specimens as well, aren't they? <laughs> oh, don't, because I go off. No, I asked the vet. And he, because he's getting a bit mad. He's going to go all quiet. And no, no, they said that he shouldn't do because no, he's still young. Do you reckon he yeah, will? No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't stop you. Who? <laughs> That's the worst park in the seen. Have a look at that. What's the matter about, Lou? It's because it's not busy. I wouldn't have parked like that if it was busy. <laughs> Lucky though, look, only missed it like 10 feet. Look at that. Good effort though, girl. We met in Milan. Um, I was in Eternal on tour with Take That um, all around Europe. And Jamie was friends with Robbie Williams, or knew Robbie Williams, and he had invited them all over to see the well, show. I yeah. said in the magazine before that I, I liked Lou, you know. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> and then when I met her, she wasn't having none of it. So. What do you reckon, Jane? Nice hour, yeah. Yeah? Have a look, Luke. It's a bit of your birthday, isn't it? I know. I don't really need anything. I haven't got nothing for a birthday yet, see? It's on Monday, so no. Not yet. I haven't. But Dillis is going to pick me some stuff out, get some clothes or something. No, you had a boyfriend at the time and everything, didn't you? So yeah, was... well, and also, you were 20. Oh, you wanted me, I didn't you? Famous footballer, no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> you were No, and it was, well, but we really did become good friends. And I can remember, like, we, we would do something, it would be something in the papers that we were dating or something like that. And it's we really, true. really wasn't. It used to annoy me so much. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Not too yeah. big. Right by it. No, casual, we're... they're casual, aren't they, for walking around and that? Yeah. What do you think? I like them, though. Yeah? Up to you, whatever you want. I, I like them bigger rather than smaller, don't I? I think just... That's time went on, really, wasn't it? Yeah, just I think just, more time we, we realised we had a lot in common and we got on well and... And then you, hmm. I think it's just a natural progression from there. Yeah. What do you reckon, Jay? Are they a bit high with a skirt? Uh, I don't know. No? Yeah? Yeah, good. It's very strange going on your first date with somebody after you've known them for about two and a half years. All of a sudden you're sitting in a restaurant and it's kind of not normal. <laughs> you know, it took me three days to decide what was I going to wear. I love shoes. I could have no <laughs> outfits and all new shoes. And all I'll wear is jeans and trainers every day. I'll buy all the nice shoes and I'll never go anywhere to wear them. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> no, I don't actually do it. Well, don't take that, then, or what? Not very much, no. Oh, Where do we go? It's hard, isn't it? Meanie. Went to Scalini's, didn't we, in London yeah. for a meal. <laughs> and there was a picture, I'll tell the story, we might have to cut this out, maybe. But in, in, in this Italian restaurant, is it? and there's like a um, picture of all different people that go in the restaurant. And uh, as I was in there, so we're, me and Lou, we say we're sat here like this. I'm looking over on my left side and I can see a picture of me. So I think, I looked up and it was me. And there was the, my brother and a couple of my mates were in the picture. But there was a girl sat next to me. Oh, no. All over his way, trainers. Sorry. Sorry about that. I can't destruct anything. Oh, no, look. <laughs> you're a trainer. Your trainers can go in the wash. Don't lie, they're your besties. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought, nah, she ain't going to clock this, no way. She's not going to see this picture, so I'm thinking, please. And, and to this day, I cannot see how she's seen it. But when we got home, as it happened, she happened to see it, said to me, oh, what was that? Who was that girl in the picture sat next to you? But she wasn't with me when it was, and she was just sat with the picture. We all moved around, and she happened to sit next to me. So Lou was like, oh, you're taking other girls out in there and that, and I was like, no, believe me, it ain't. That's that, like, forget it. We're just but you know, women have got that, like, eyes, she's looking at me, but eyes over there, and, and uh, I think all I've of us girls out. have got eyes everywhere. No, but... Boys, beware. No, oh, she's you like. I'm nothing, I'm fine. Come on, must be someone else. <laughs> Come on, what is it? Um, no, I, honestly, I, I'm really happy with those. I don't, I, I, I'm fine. 
Thank you. It's a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday, Lou. And I've got nothing. You won't be, you'll be right about that. Yes. <laughs> you liar. I will. No, Come I promise on. I will. I no. think I would have found it hard to have been in a relationship with somebody that kind of, you know, was not at a dead end job, but something that they didn't have any plans and a future in because I would find hard to relate to somebody in that circumstance. You know, I'm always looking forward like he, he, he is. And um, I think that's very important in a relationship. What is he like? Uh, 07818. And he's having a panic up that I haven't got anything. Yeah. But I actually don't ne okay. need anything, and it's a waste of money. Right. And they'll get me an outfit now that I really what just that won't fit me. <laughs> and hey, very tight and revealing. <laughs> Lisa, don't let him talk you into getting me stuff. What about that jacket there? Don't need anything. I tell you, I, 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 I don't need anything, Jay. No? No. My mum taught me this one when I first went to Liverpool, I used to live on my own. So I had to learn how to look after myself. This is all I used to have every night. Henny Arabiata it's called. The hates change. You know, you go, we go on holiday, he has the same meal for two weeks in the same restaurant. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't like change. If he likes something, it's staying that way. It's a great invention, this, look. Don't get the skin. He talked to you about the wedding day. He'd kill me, if I'm honest. <laughs> we had been to Bermuda the year before um, for a holiday. It was gorgeous, and we went back, like I said. He's not good on change. If he likes something, we go again. So we went back for the second holiday. And um, one day, we just said, well, should we just do it? And I went, all right then, yeah. <laughs> so I phoned up my mum and said, oh, what are you doing on Friday? She was like, oh, not a lot. I said, well, we're getting married, so could you come to Bermuda? That one's not working. Why? I don't know, it's not working for ages. I was just really excited. I was nervous but excited. And um, we had this boat. So I'm arriving to the boat and people kept coming downstairs going to me, James crying. I was thinking, oh no, maybe he's having second thoughts. Oh, look at the state of him. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a son. So I sent a message out to him saying, look, you know, it's no big deal. If you're having second thoughts and you're too nervous to go ahead with it, don't worry, we just have a nice party for the day. We'll discuss it and, you know, we'll carry on as normal. It's not a problem. And, um, obviously it wasn't that. Well, I'm pleased to say it wasn't that. Strong them onions, Lou. Mm -hmm. And I think just having his family there and everybody that was really close to us and the setting, and I think he said, you know, he saw me kind of walking up. He just went, he's like, I do. <laughs> I giggling because I was in shock that he was like, like he was crying. What's some black things in you put in there? Pine kernels. The whip. No. No. I've told you before. Not supposed to be black. Don't touch my food. I don't know me, Dan. You would you say to me if I come in here when, I'm, when you're cooking? You do. You come in here and eat half of it for a big tip. No, I suppose everybody that is married they, and kind of got a girlfriend and boyfriend say they're fortunate, but I do feel quite fortunate I've met somebody I get on extremely well with. I can boss him around, that's what it really is. <laughs> if I let the recipe out, it's like Kentucky Fried Chicken, you don't let the recipe out, do you? <laughs> you know what I mean, Lou? Didn't you know, um, one of the major supermarket chains have actually asked Jamie to actually do his own red nap chilli sauce, so um, we can't tell anyone. Oh, that is a lie, but... Hot and spicy. Mm -hmm. you, in the advert you can do hot and spicy just like me. And we can all go... Ugh. Come on, Winch! The worst thing that can happen in our life, you know, hopefully, is that you can't play football and you know what if you can't we'll deal with it and we move on and we do something else and i would always just try and always throw him a bit of a positive line <laughs>